you can thank the brown tree snake for killing off Guam's native birds. Within 30 years, the brown tree snake spread throughout Guam and our native forest birds were depleted. According to Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Supervisor Diane Weiss, it's our job to keep it our problem. We don't want this to happen to another island. We don't want it to happen to Hawaii or anywhere else in Micronesia. So we can do that. We can control the snake and minimize the risk to other places, but we want to go broader than that. We want to, you know, consider the source. Eradicated on Guam, we're developing technology. I say we, the brown tree snake community. We've seen the efforts, the most shocking of which was a mice drop atop forested areas of Anderson Air Force Base. While many of us use acetaminophen to treat headaches, muscle aches, and the common cold, the over-the-counter medicine is deadly to the snake. KOM files show the mice baits were each filled with 80 milligrams of the medicine and attached to cardboard and tissue paper much like a parachute. Tricky part is people don't want little dead mice being sprinkled over all their property. Uh, so we're going to need the public support. We're going to need the public support to maybe augment areas with trapping. Maybe the public will be trapping themselves. We need a public that's on board that wants to control the snake and help bring back our native birds and, and stop the spread of this pest species. To get the public on board, the agency is launching an awareness campaign called Contra y Culebla, or Attack the Snake. People, you know, don't appreciate what life was like before the snake. We could have native birds everywhere. We wouldn't have power outages caused by the snake. Uh, we wouldn't be having snake bites. You know, if a, if a baby gets bit by a snake, they might end up in hospital. If you want more information or want to get involved in eradication efforts, call Vice at 735-3990. A lot of people have given up on Guam with the brown tree snake and that's unfortunate because this is something a lot of people have been working really hard to control uh, and you know it's just a success story waiting to happen on Guam. And so I, I hope the public in, on Guam wants to support this, this great effort. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.